You mean you got leftover Texas spaghetti? Let's make something out of leftovers. Take your leftover noodles, plop it in a pan. If you got some cottage cheese or you can add side, it's just whatever you got in there. I got some cottage cheese, I'm gonna put that all in them noodles. Hands or whatever, but it's easier to do with your hands. You wanna blend it in with your hands, right on? Right, get you some cream cheese if you got some. If not, you can add some kind of other cheese. And plop it in there and work it all in the noodles. Now you're gonna get you some garlic and you can add whatever seasons you want, however much you want, then some salt. Right on. And then I'm putting in some good old heat rouse garlic butter, man. This stuff is the bomb. I use mozzarella, but I don't have any. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this cold jack, man. Right on, right on, right on. Now after I put a light layer of that cold jack on, I'm gonna go ahead and work that in. I'm gonna put another layer on top. But this time I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna blend it in. I'm gonna take that leftover sauce which you can see, I put it in a Ziploc freezer bag. And now we gonna pour it on it, just like a this one. Look at them big old bowl balls. I got some big balls, yo. I ain't even gonna lie. I had some leftover pepperoni that I need to use, so I'm just gonna slap these pepperonis on top. We're gonna put another light layer of Kobe again. If I had mozzarella, I'd be putting mozzarella on, but I don't have none. Now, because I've got this entirely too full, this is probably going to overflow, but i got a little deal I can do. Put a bigger pan under the bottom in case it overflows and gets the drip. This in at 350 degrees, probably going to be at least an hour, maybe maybe a little longer. Time to dig in. After about an hour's work, chop you up a little corner there. Ooh, look at the heat. Oh, look at all that good stuff. <laughs> now that's what I call Texas Spaghetti Surprise. Right on. Yeah, man.